はい、いつたけし from JP レールドットコム。Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. アロングウィザー東北新幹線上越新幹線。There was 新幹線 that had been approved for the construction by the government in 1971. That was the 成田新幹線。Construction of some sections had been started, but construction had been cancelled. Why didn't the 成田新幹線 open? In this video, I will talk about the Narita Shinkansen that was not realized. What is the Narita Shinkansen? This line was planned to be constructed in the 65 km section from Narita Airport to Tokyo Station. The route was planned at the same time as the construction of Narita Airport, and in 1971, the construction plan was officially decided along with the Tohoku Shinkansen and the Joet Shinkansen by the Japanese government. It was planned to connect Tokyo Station and Narita Airport in 30 minutes and designed at the maximum speed of 260 km per hour. And the construction started in 1974. Opposition Movement Many opposition movements took place in the places on the Narita Shinkansen route. This was because there was a lawsuit against the Shinkansen noise in Nagoya. And the public interest in noise pollution was increasing. Also, because the Narita Shinkansen was a short distance of the 65 km, there was only one station between Narita Airport and the Tokyo Station. And in most areas on the Shinkansen route, there were no advantages even if the Shinkansen was built. Land acquisition for the Narita Shinkansen did not proceed at all. And it became impossible in 1976 when it was originally scheduled to be completed. After that, even in 1978, when Narita Airport opened, the Narita Shinkansen could not be opened. Construction was suspended in 1983. Construction could only be started on part of the Tokyo Station and the roadbed and equipment near Narita Airport. After all, the plan for the Narita Shinkansen was officially cancelled with the privatization of JNR in 1987, and the Narita Shinkansen could not be realized. However, due to the difficult construction of the Narita Shinkansen, alternatives were being considered even before the construction was cancelled. There were three plans. Plan A Redevelopment of the Narita Shinkansen planned route. Plan B Extend The Hokso Railway, Hokso Line, and open it as a Keisei Narita Airport Line. Plan C, branch the JNR Narita Line, it's a currently JR East Narita Line, and connect directly to Narita Airport. Of these plans, Plan B and Plan C have been realized, and the equipment constructed on the Narita Shinkansen are in use. Let's take a look at the traces of the Narita Shinkansen that still remain. Narita Airport Line. Plan C was first realized in 1991. The line that branched off from the JR Narita Line was connected to the roadbed near the airport constructed for the Narita Shinkansen, and the route to Narita Airport Terminal Station was completed. This is the current Narita Express route. Keisei Electric Railway was planning to extend the route to the Narita Airport. But due to the plan of the Narita Shinkansen, it was not approved. Keisei opened the Narita Airport Station in a place one kilometer away from the terminal building. However, it was not connected to the terminal building directly and required to take a shuttle bus between the station and the terminal. This station was not very convenient and had a low utilization rate. But due to the cancellation of the Shinkansen plan, Keisei could enter the current Narita Airport Station, which is directly connected to the terminal building. It was 1991, at the same time that JR started to enter Narita Airport. The first Keisei Electric Railway Narita Airport Station has now been renamed Higashi Narita Station, will be a commuting line for the people working at the airport. Then, in 1992, Narita Airport Terminal 2 Station opened. And in 2010, Keisei Electric Railway opened a new Narita Sky Access Line. The 8.4 km section constructed for the Narita Shinkansen is currently shared by the JR Narita Line and the Keisei Narita Sky Access Line. Narita Airport Station 
The current Narita Airport Station is a renovation of the station facilities built for the Narita Shinkansen. It is a very long platform because it supports 12 car trains of the Shinkansen. There are five tracks in this station. JR uses the two tracks and the Keisei has three tracks. Chiba New Town Chuo Station. This is the station for Hokuso Railway and the Keisei Electric Railway, but an intermediate station for the Narita Shinkansen was scheduled open next to this station. The land on the north side of Chiba New Town Chuo Station, where the Shinkansen station was planned to be built, still remains. The Hokuso Railway was opened as a line to Chiba New Town Chuo Station and then extended to Inba Nihon Idai Station. Then, in 2010, the extension work was carried out again and it was connected to the Narita Airport line where the Narita Express operates. It opened as a Narita Sky Axis line, which I mentioned earlier. The Limited Express Skyliner runs at 160 km per hour on this newly constructed section. This is the fastest train speed in Japan, except for the Shinkansen. There is also a plan for a route connecting KQ Sengakuji Station from Keisei Electric Railway Oshiyagi Station via underground of the Tokyo Station. If this happens, Narita Airport and the Tokyo Station will be connected in 32 minutes. This is only 2 minutes slower than the Narita Shinkansen plan. The Narita Shinkansen plan may be realized by the fastest trains other than the Shinkansen in the future. Tokyo Station The Keio Line, which starts at the Tokyo Station, is known as an access route to Maihama Station, where Tokyo Disney Resort is located. This Keio Line platform uses the space where the Narita Shinkansen Station was planned to be built. However, the Keio Line platform is a newly constructed platform, not a platform built for the Shinkansen. The Keio Line platform is far from other platforms at the Tokyo Station, and we have to walk through a long connecting the passage. This connecting the passage was built for the Narita Shinkansen. By the way, the Keio Line platform is located so as to intersect Tokyo Station. This is because there was another plan. Extension plan to Shinjuku. In fact, there was a plan to extend the Narita Shinkansen to Shinjuku Station and connect it to the Joet Shinkansen. Currently, the Joet Shinkansen departs and arrives at the Tokyo Station, but originally, there was a plan that the Tohoku Shinkansen departs and arrives at the Tokyo Station, and the Joet Shinkansen departs and arrives at the Shinjuku Station. If this plan had been realized, Narita Airport and the Niigata would have been directly connected. The Hokuriku Shinkansen, which operates the same route as the Joet Shinkansen to Takasaki, also departs and arrives at the Narita Airport Station, and it may have been possible to go directly to Nagano, Toyama, and Kanazawa from Narita Airport Station. So, why is the Joet Shinkansen currently arriving and departing at the Tokyo Station instead of the Shinjuku Station? It's a long story, so I will talk about that in the next video. That's all for this video. If you found this video useful or interesting, please click like button and subscribe to my channel. Please watch other videos too. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you guys next time. Arigatou gozaimashita. Sayonara.